<laughs> what did you do to your sister on the trampoline? <laughs> what did you do? Did you have any Kleenexes on the trampoline? No? Good morning. Addie and I are up early this morning. She doesn't like eating alone. <laughs> so we're hanging out together. It's Friday. Oh yeah, here's her breakfast. Timbit cereal. We might be able to finish off doing our shirts today. I don't know, some things I've read say to leave them for one to three days. So maybe we should leave them for a day or two more. I don't know for sure, but it is cold and miserable outside and rainy and wet. So we're going to have to get creative and come up with some fun things to do today. Do you have any ideas? Do a craft all together. Do a craft all together. Hmm. What type of craft could we do? We might have to figure that out. A big bunny. A big bunny. Of course it's a bunny. And a big pig. So no major plans for today to bake up some sourdough. Other than that, the day is wide open, some school, and then just figuring out things to do to stay busy on this rainy, wet day. <laughs> I've been asked to please not video this. All I see is newspaper. I'm, I'm helping her make this hers. Is what is I finished mine. These girls are working on Mother's Day. I yes. can't tell you. No, don't tell me. Don't tell me. It's newspaper. Oh. It's newspaper. I'm going to make them lunch while they start working, and then I'm going to disappear upstairs until they are done. No, no. Can somebody bring me my cup of water, please? Yeah. I'm still not allowed downstairs. I feel like I'm stuck here forever. I'm supposed to be up here working out because the girls are trying to work on Mother's Day gifts for me. And I am so unmotivated today. It's still cold and miserable out. You can hear the wind whistling past the chimney when you sit in the living room. But I wanted to talk about something that not a lot of people talk about. I wanted to talk about parasites. Now we have traveled out of country uh, quite a few different places. I haven't ever knowingly had a parasite but some people are completely grossed out by the idea. Other people I know do spring and fall cleanses for parasites just in case they do have one. If you Google it, you find out that they say pretty much everybody has parasites. So I haven't been feeling really great. I, I mentioned a few videos ago that my stomach has been upset and things have just been feeling kind of off. And I thought, you know what? I have this product for Parasite. I also have some stuff from Panama. I think I'm just gonna do that and see if it helps to deal with the issue. I'll show you the things. This is my Parasite meds from Panama. We bought enough for the whole family to do them and we honestly haven't. But yes, $10.95 US for those in Panama. The other product I have is a large product. This jar is quite big. It's a liter. It's called Parasite Purge, and it is made by a company in Courtney, BC. This stuff is pretty close to the grossest thing you've ever tasted in your life. This is natural. I am going to start taking these just to see how they make me feel, if it helps at all with some of the stomach irritation that I've been suffering from. I'm a farm kid. I know that you're told that if you have cats and dogs that you have some sort of parasite. And I just thought, why not give it a try, see if that's kind of what's bothering my stomach right now. Uh, the natural one is really hard to get down. It leaves a horrible bitter taste at the back of my tongue and trying to find something that will take that taste away is just absolutely brutal. It's kind of disgusting and it's two or three times a day for 15 days. So I wanted to ask you guys if there's comments down below. I know it's kind of a, not a topic that a lot of people like to talk about. I'm trying to decide whether or not to put this in a let's get real 
vlog or if this will just be in my regular family vlog but it's something I just wanted to discuss with you guys and be open we're the real McNeils I'm just being real with you have you ever had a parasite have you had to treat it I know that Clancy's family being from Kenya they dealt with all sorts of amoebas and parasites and things like that um, we didn't seem to pick up anything when we were there but I know that it's real it's it's not a pleasant thing you see people go through it and friends of ours in Panama also went through some of that and you heard stories about them having to take different type of parasite and amoeba medications it's just part of living in a different country and the water supply not being as maybe as good a quality as we have here although I would prefer that over the amount of chlorine and other things that we have in our water so thumbs up if you want to discuss parasites and amoebas and things like that <laughs> and comment below if you have any thoughts on it and you want to throw your two bits in there. <laughs> what did you do to your sister on the trampoline? <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> did you have any Kleenexes on the trampoline? No? Did your nose get runny? Yeah? Because um, I got hurt really bad. Oh, you got hurt really bad. And so, what did you use for, I, for I, a Kleenex? I jumped and she came closer and so my fingers went to the <laughs> What else are sisters for other than to be booger wipers? <laughs> Kleenexes! Kleenexes! <laughs> These bungee cords have become the craziest things ever. That was actually really cool. Doggy is making us all crazy. She's terrible tonight. She's actually been terrible all day. Bailey has a migraine, so Coco's acting up. Caden may have been rewarding her terrible behavior with popcorn, though. So I informed him that he cannot have grandkids for me yet because he's a terrible doggy parent and he said yes mom <laughs> there's obedience for you guys <laughs> so you just say yes mom I like that well trained oh she's insane uh oh looks like the bubble spilled these girls are wearing off energy it is cold out here Day present Clancy has been working on making me a spice rack which we've wanted for years I love it it's so cool I keep having to stay out of here so I don't see what people are doing wait you can see what you mean <laughs> wait I'm perfectly fine with it he says I won't be able to figure it out even if I see it <laughs> Even Sister was cold, so brother's taking care of her. <laughs> Look at your face. Are you warm now? It has the perfect little finished touches now. Kaga! Which one of our kids is it that used to say kaga? It? I remember things that were said, but not who said them. That's awesome. I love it. So it's Friday night, so I feel like we need a treat, which is just kind of the name of the game right now. I'm not actually feeling that great. I don't know if it's all of the different stuff I've taken today for what. So I don't even know if I'm going to eat anything, but it's fun to make something. The girls are not getting ready to watch a movie, so I don't know if it's even going to happen because it's already past Addison's bedtime. 
Friday night movie may not happen. We might have to switch it to Saturday afternoon. Who knows? But it is finally nice outside. So I can't blame them for having played outside. The sun is pretty, but it's not warm. You step outside the door and it is cold. I'm going to make peanut butter chocolate chip bars because Addie asked for something the chocolate chips. We don't work with peanut butter very often because the nuts bother Bailey. It only has like five ingredients. So we've got melted butter, peanut butter, you'll need an egg, some brown sugar, a little bit of flour, and chocolate chips. It sounds good. It smells amazing. Peanut butter and chocolate chips, two of my favorite things combined. Addie has started her movie. ready for the oven and it only took probably five minutes to whip up. I think I might serve it with a scoop of ice cream. I'm picking my nose, but not the inside, the outside. Because... And they're out of the oven. I don't know how long I can wait. It's like 8.30 and Addie has to go to bed, but that with a scoop of ice cream sounded mighty fine right now. What do you think? Is it good? Addy, what do you think? Yummy. Is it hot? The bars are delicious and I'm binge watching YouTube, so I need to move away from them so that I stop feeding them because they already hurt my stomach. I'm gonna sit and read for a bit. The kids are busy with their movie, almost time to get Addie to bed. And then we're gonna end out our day just getting kids off to bed. And tomorrow is Saturday, which we're really looking forward to. Thanks so much for watching The Real McNeils. Hit subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you know when we put out new videos. Hope you've had a great day. Looking forward to the weekend.